Hi, and welcome to the Niles Creative Workshops. Ideas make you better is my catchphrase. What does that catchphrase mean? Well, it means a lot of stuff. Uh, everyone is creative. Just watch children at play, and you'll see potential actors, dancers, writers, and singers. When those children are encouraged to develop their talents and learn artistic discipline, they can become creative professionals. My site is designed to stimulate creativity in musicians. Of course, there's great potential for creativity in all professions, plumbers, scientists, and accountants. When a plumber solves a mysterious leak, he's using his powers of deduction kind of like Sherlock Holmes. When a scientist discovers a new way to build a mousetrap, he's using something I often talk about. He's, it's, it's the power of asking, what if? And we've all heard of cases where accountants become perhaps too creative and their clients end up in jail. But the career of creative professionals depends on their ability to generate plenty of ideas. The more ideas they have, the more successful artists they can become. Ideas make better artists. But what kind of ideas are we talking about? In order to be effective, ideas should suggest something new, a unique or unusual way of looking at some aspect of life. Old ideas are not necessarily bad ideas, I like a lot of old ideas, but they have the disadvantage of having already been heard. I often hear my students say, but Uncle Richard, how can I think of something new? Everything's already been done. This, of course, is nonsense. As Maya Angelou said, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. One of the wonders of life is that we have so much variety. Who cannot be amazed by a biological species that can produce voices as diverse as Tom Waits and Taylor Swift, or ideas as diverse as the theory of relativity or the hula hoop. Try listing all the different ways that songwriters have written about love, from the simplicity of Irving Berlin's Always to the sophistication of Lorenz Hart's Glad to be Unhappy, or the abusive obsession of Pink's Please Don't Leave Me. The universe is infinite, and so are the number of ideas it can generate through us. Now, sometimes the new comes from subverting the old, or trying the old backwards. It can come from long, dedicated research and exploration. It could come from a random system, such as the cut-up technique that was used by the Dadaists and later used by William Burroughs and David Bowie. Whether from dreaming or by design, Artists have been finding new concepts and new ways to express them since the first cave painting. Now, I also believe ideas have to be interesting to the people that you're giving those ideas to. The new is often interesting just because it's new. But interest comes also from relevance. Some artists manage to express the spirit of their times, such as Bob Dylan in the 1960s and Lady Gaga today. The interest can be political interest, it could be socially interesting. It could be thought-provoking in many other ways. Now, sheer entertainment can also be compelling. There's nothing new about juggling, but it's fun to watch. And the same could be said about sex, but it sure sells. However, I believe that ideas must have a purpose beyond novelty and entertainment. Anyone who's ever felt that an artist had changed their life will understand how important it is that ideas have artistic value. Now, this could be defined as illuminating the human condition and enriching our human experience. Ideas make us better. This type of idea helps us better able to make sense of this immeasurably baffling existence and helps us better able to appreciate the beauty and challenge of being alive. Ideas make us better human beings. In this sense, it's simply not enough to be a powerful singer or a virtuosic instrumentalist. As admirable as that may be, it merely means that the musician has high-quality tools. An artist must also have something to say with those tools, a personal worldview that is expressed in their music or their lyrics. And I would contend that artists should express ideas that are uplifting, Artistic value becomes even more important in a culture where success is more and more measured as financial success. 
The truth is that despite what the media screams at us, a performer is not a valid artist just because they win a TV contest or sell 12 million CDs or, or are starring in the latest blockbuster. We live in a world where the amorality of bankers is openly rewarded and the media creates truth instead of reporting it. Sadly, many musicians today are tr training in order to achieve money and fame, not to bring some new artistically valuable insight to the public. At the time of writing, it would seem that entertainment and novelty are all an artist needs to have a successful career. Money, therefore, takes precedence over usefulness or spiritual enlightenment. Wannabe artists today seem to be overly cautious about possible reactions to their ideas. They know some people will get their concept and they'll be Lady Gaga touring the world and receiving worldwide press for wearing a dress made out of carpaccio. But if people don't get them, they might end up like Vincent van Gogh starving in a garret searching for their right ear. They'd rather have accolades in the meat. They'd want to fit in rather than stand out. But it's very important for all of us to decide whether we intend to be artists who use money to enable us to create art or merchandisers who use art to enable us to make money. I care passionately about the artistic value of my content. Art matters because it stands as an alternative to the heartlessness of society and the politics of greed. It offers a utopia where the ideal can be defined and attained. Without this, I believe we'd all go mad. As Nietzsche said, we have art so that we shall not die of reality. Now, in these times of economic austerity, uh, we notice that music programs have been removed from schools and funds for the arts have plummeted. Many ed educational institutions teach students to pass exams rather than to understand the significance of the material that they're learning. There's history, there's language and science that can actually affect their lives, but that's not what they're learning. They're taught to memorize facts rather than use them as a vital resource for their own lives. This condemns us to a life of depressing, acquisitive pragmatism, making us fear or distrust the miraculous. But as Roald Dahl said, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. I started the Niles Creative Workshops in order to create a place where people can not only dream, but learn the practical ways to make their dreams effective in the real world. I not only want to stimulate ideas, but I want to provide more ideas to empower those ideas. Creativity unlimited. My catchphrase is actually something of a crusade. As unfashionable as it may be, I believe there's a moral imperative on all of us to make the world a better place an obligation to make yourself a better person. I'm doing what I can with this idea business I have because ideas make you better.